hi there welcome back it's tanya from touch treasures hello there so we a bit close to the desk today because we're doing we're doing fiddly stuff um i'm hoping it's not going to be too fiddly and faffy and all the rest of it i've made two up to um test it test it out um i have done these before um but oh gosh a year or so ago um, I don't know if I'm doing it any different or or what, but um, yeah, it's along the same lines. So <laughs> what I'm making is a couple of tassels for uh, the future daisy journals. Just going to make two and they're going to be ones that are attached on with uh, the miniature bulldog clips. So I want to make, oh, probably another two each of these uh strands up to go um to go inside um you know the materials and stuff so i've got two uh bulldog clips and i've got my little basket um i don't think i want that thread well not now this minute they're for something different so I might have to get some more stuff out. We'll, we'll see how we, we go. Now, I had bought some uh, beaders needles. And unfortunately, I've broke my um, needle threader. And there's no way I can thread those. So I've made my own needle. <laughs> um, and all I did was get some wire, cut it off. And um, I just open it up put the thread in between and then I use it as a as a needle obviously you'll see it as a as I go on so in here I've got a few beads and some buttons so we'll get these uh used up now the um length of the journal um is eight and a half so I want these will go in half so that makes it 17. So I'm aiming for about 20, maybe not 20, but I'd prefer to verge on caution. Um, well, this isn't even long enough. Huh. Well, no, I can just go off this one, can't I? There's that other needle. No wonder I couldn't thread it. This is so thin. Um, I must order myself oh, another uh, needle threader. What have I just done with the packet? Let me put these in here because otherwise. Um, now, I've been using alcohol inks uh, this morning. I've actually bought some. I didn't have any uh, and I've bought one and I've been doing some of that tape. Um, I'll just show it to you quickly. Um, I've never done it before. Um, so, yeah, I just squirted some some alcohol in I probably haven't quite got the right colour uh, but it's it's fine I didn't I didn't want to buy a million colours I just wanted to own uh, one colour and I can't remember what colour it was it was hmm. I don't know yeah I don't know Who knows? I don't know. Oh, sepia. Oh, my goodness me. Oof. Yeah. Right. The video is not going to go well, is it? <laughs> I couldn't even see see the sepia. And now I'm expected to see um, little holes. So, the bottom ones, I'm doing this with uh, an embroidery um, thread. Um, you could do it with twine. So if I do it like that and then just add a little bit on, yeah, twine, uh, wool, whatever, whatever you want. And um, so let's um, get my makeshift needle. So I've just opened it up, put the thread inside it. Yep. <laughs> and just squeeze it together just try and bend it round a little bit so i'm not not losing it every every second it doesn't totally stay on but it's fine 
and then I can use that to oh I feel like I'm going to sneeze to go oh to go through there and then through there so I um well I used to make dream catches and I used to do this um to thread beads on for that so I'm gonna oh actually I'm gonna do this like middle-ish because I think when I did that one I thought oh really the small ones would be better towards the towards the end so then all I'm going to do is just knot it off um, I, on them I did put two knots but to be quite honest I think one knot is is enough so let's do that again I will pause and do um, some of them off screen because it is a little bit boring to to watch I feel very pressured into um, have I got a conversation and um, I can't think of anything I can't even get through through this right come on that's it so yeah it is fiddly I'm gonna say if you've got a decent needle what you can see the eye and um, so I think like placing them about that far will be okay knew that was gonna happen you know that never happened um, when I wasn't filming but as soon as I did that I thought I know I know that's gonna happen Um, I've just done two knots on that one haven't done that so I try and avoid doing it with this one because obviously I don't want the needle uh, to fall to fall off and um, yeah now I've lost my needle uh, this is the fun the fun of filming um, everything what could go wrong does go wrong <laughs> it's, uh, it's strange I don't know I think you must just move differently or I don't know I don't know what it is when you put the camera on I'm just going to take the needle out okay so we've got two and then if I do want this side that we've probably got enough um, of the big ones so I did try and thread the buttons through with um, nothing, you know, just pushing it through and oh, it's, that doesn't work very well either. I'm going to say for an occasional person who, who does something like this, um, I think this, this way is fine. If you was doing it a lot, then I don't think it would be. I don't think it would be ideal. So... I don't know why it's getting lost. That's it. So I'll we'll do that about there. Bring that through and tie it off. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll have a couple of small buttons. Maybe I would only want one on each on each dangle. I don't want the massive uh, things. So yeah. Probably just do this one and then <clears throat> we'll do a couple of the, the bottom one, uh, the bead ones because these bottom ones are obviously quite chunky. So let's get another one on this side. So we're going from the back and then out that way and that way the, the button is the correct way. Um, you know that you would sew, sew it on. So do that. Can't get my needle out. That's it. But all different kinds of needles to do beading. I'm gonna say when I tried it last year, I got loads of good advice and and things, and I bought some really long needles. What's got like a long kind of hole I've tried that it, 
yeah it's for me this uh, works works better so that's that and then we want two on this side i might even need three on this side let's let's see how we go so i hope everybody's okay i'm filming this and it is tuesday i think i'm about a week and a half in front um so I don't know if this actually goes up the 1st of April. So if it does, happy April. And um, yeah, I need to, I've not read my calendar either, but I've got too much on my desk. I can see it. Do you want me to tell you what it says? So for the 1st of April, it says, listen or your tongue will make you deaf. <laughs> I think that's telling me something. <laughs> oh dear. I did like that when I turned it over yesterday, ready for today. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Um, I'm a good listener, but I do find it very difficult to stop talking when somebody's talking. Um, yeah, I'm one of them people who drive you mad. Unless it's something like really obviously important that, you know, um, I've no need to be talking because I really have to be listening to, to somebody. But if it's just general chit-chat, I am very... Um, and I get really excited and then obviously I talk really fast and um, loud. Making myself sound um, not very desirable, aren't I? Right, so the bead one is is, you know, the same kind of thing. So I've got all different things. So um with doing this wire technique technique <laughs> it's not a technique, honestly. <laughs> oh dear making it sound um oh yes, this this technique. Um yes, you don't seem to have that problem of oh my goodness, my needle doesn't fit fit through this bead. Um, which I found that that's what happened. So I'm kind of doing the same thing, just going through one hole to the other hole and then just tying it tying it off. And then obviously all your beads don't um, go down to the, to the bottom. They all hang, um, um, you know, like so. I can't even see the see the finger here so yeah it's tuesday uh ryan's just gone to work he's on a late today so it's just gone well it's dinner dinner time so he won't be back until about 10 o'clock tonight so i'm not even getting dressed today i'm just gonna mess around i've got my um william morris pajamas on um i so wish i'd have bought two pairs because um oh, i just love them absolutely love them i have bought another blouse um well it's not a blouse it's it's more um a long sleeve t-shirt but it but you know it's obviously more than a bit more luxurious than that obviously because it's william morris and it's in um like a really deep green and and black it's it's very nice um I've not worn it yet, so when I do, I shall make sure that I give you a, a peep. Um, yeah, see, we don't want this kind of thing happening, do we? It, um, it's really not, not what we need at all. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, it would be better if my eyes was better. So I'm thinking if I hold them in my hand as I do this bit. You're probably thinking, why don't you just do it with the other side? Because if your needle falls off, it's easier than what you're going through. And yeah, you're probably right. That's it. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> it's happening. Right, shall we have um, some of a bell on? Oops, I like it. I do like a jingly bell. There's something about them. Just magical. I don't know if it's a Santa thing or, or what. Yeah, it probably is. 
I don't know, it reminds me of kittens as well. Yeah, so they're, they're pretty special, aren't they? I love baby animals. Well, I love animals. But when they're baby animals, they, they're lovely and they smell lovely, don't they? Got that really baby uh, smell to them. Just lovely. Right, let me get some of my thread. What's that? Come on, you can do it. Let's move it down a bit. It's um, all twisted up. Hmm. I don't really want it to be twisted up. I might have to just cut it off. Oh. Come on. Right, so the um, thread that I'm using is um, a, um, it's got, got a knot in it. Uh, yeah, the thread that I'm using has got a knot in it. Right, I'm going to cut that off there. Okay, let's um, keep hold of that. It's a linen thread. It's uh, what I use to sew, sew journals. So even though it's thin, um, it is strong. Oh my goodness. See, then my fingers stop working. I'm going to say I'm okay doing fiddly stuff for so long. And then, yeah, my fingers just give up. Right, so that's that side. That's, um, oh, probably only put one on that side. Let's see if I can get this open. And just clump it around here. I think I'll put, um, put uh, a leaf on this end. So, ugh, that's that. Pull it back out. So I don't know if you've seen enough of this, and I should now pause and do do the other two. Um, and pause, probably. <laughs> you probably got your arms in your head, head in your hands. I mean, hands in your head. Right, so that's those. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to do another two um, like that because I think that will be nice. Now, I'm making some other things um, later on. I'm just wondering if I need to make some of these up for those projects ready. But I don't know if I need any. Right, so I'm going to have a little think and um, yeah, I'll be back in a tick. Don't leave, I will be back. Okay, they're uh, done. Not too much uh, um, issues doing them. So we'll just move those to the side. So I've got a basket of goodness. <laughs> and I'm wanting to you <clears throat> before I, you know, start on any reels or anything, <clears throat> I'd like to use up um, scrappy things first. So again, we need to <clears throat> think how long we want it so I said eight and a half times two is 17 and then so about 18 yeah we'll do it 18 so that's I'm gonna get my mat out and then I'm gonna get the ruler out Oh, so 17. Oh, okay. So if I did it to from there to that line there, that would be super duper, wouldn't it? So let's um let's have a bit of this and a bit of that. So I've got some different uh coloured ribbons. So oh we're doing it to there, aren't we? So that's that. Do another one because I'm obviously doing two. They don't have to be the same. I'm just 
actually wanting to use these things up so there's a bit more green there so I'll put that one in there put that in with my scraps um, we'll put a bit of this lighter green in like so I think that one wants a lighter green in as well so that's that you know I'm not being precise I'm not doing it dead on um, what it says what it says um, yeah you know so this is some um, well this is actually cut off from a lace I'll show it you in a minute but it was too wide so I thought oh I'll just rip rip that off so that can go on there yeah so it was um that lace and I thought oh, I'll just just rip it off so that's that um I might as well use that oh pardon to be silly silly not to so I've got a bit of um hessian type stuff here so i'm going to cut this in half because i've only got uh one piece and it'd be nice to to have it in in both so and that's that um i've got a bit of yeah i can put that bit in uh what else have we got well that's going to be too short so i'll pop that back in the other basket hmm that's maybe just long enough I've got some really pale um, ribbon there, so that can do there. Um, I've got some leaf trim, I'll put that one in there. I think that's too short. I don't want any more thickish stuff. Let's um, pop that in because that was just a single in that oops sorry and then I've got this crocheted um, finish piece I'll put that one in there that one in here like so um, I've got some I think this is um, like chiffon, is that? So that can go in that one. Oh, not got enough there, but got another piece here. So that can go there. Um, I've got some of this gold ribbon. It's not very big, so I'll just put it in in one of them. Now that has got like a sticky on it. It was on a, a gift at Christmas. So I'll take that sticky off. So that can go in that one. Um, this bit of brown there. That can go in that one. That's not long enough. That's not long enough. I don't know if you can see this. No, you can't. Sorry. Um, it's because I'm so so close normally, so you would have been able to see it. Just been pulling from this uh, little basket, and then everything what's left or too short, I've just been plonking it in in there. Um, so that was the kind of way that I was going through it. And then I've got this lovely wool um, that Megan sent me. So that's a bit too short. Let's do do this. I think I'll do a couple of. Of these ones do that like so and then I've got it in this um orangey colour which that'll be lovely Ooh. I feel like I want another green in, but I don't want to, to use it all. Right, I've got some um, green eyelash trim here. So that would be nice. I've got no idea where the end is, so I'm just 
pulling a bit out and cutting it eventually the whole ball will just fall to, to pieces because I've snipped in it ah, everywhere what's that I think I'll put two of those in because I do think it needs a bit more uh, green that might be about it so I think I want a bit of string again so oh yeah it's actually <laughs> two balls now I've just uh Twiced it, twiced it, doubled it, <laughs> twiced it. <laughs> oh dear me, something a toddler would say, isn't it? Twiced it, twice that nana. <laughs> oh dear, no, I doubled it, that's what I did. Right, I think I'm just going to have a feel, because um, I, I don't want them over the top, you know, crazy, chunky. Because I'm, I'm just not that person, am I really? So, I think that might be enough. I mean, that's the other book out. If you think, I'm just going to put the screen up a little bit. We're probably too close now. Okay. Um. So, like, if that was there, I think that's plenty thick enough. Yeah. I don't want to go any thicker than that. Right, so we've got that. Um, straighten that up. Straighten that up a bit. And I'm going to put... Oh, well, I would if they wasn't all chumped together now. Oh, come on, Tanya. He was doing so well. Yeah, I might have to pause. Oh, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm going to pause. Let me just put that to one side. Let me try and get this out. Yeah. Oh, dear me. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up and put the, bot the bottom one uh, underneath. Then I'm going to try and put... Well, I'm going to place it back down. Um, I'm going to take about half away. Oh, it's so funny. Right. That's the wrong piece of string, that's it. Right, so... I just don't want them all, you know, at the same... Um, place so that's that and then place that one there and this one here okay okay so I've got those um, untangled and I've layered them in so we've got two with the beads on with charms and one with buttons. I've just cut another uh, length of string and I'm gonna get this in the middle. And hopefully tie it. tie it again like so so that's that part done oh, then obviously I can cut um, strands off um, just making sure not to go in the beads right so that's that one let me move that one out of the out of the way why I do the other one I'm just gonna I'm just clipping it up so it doesn't get tangled up into anything and again, just grab it around the middle. Just tuck my string underneath. And just tie it once, just check that it looks okay. I'm sure it will. If it's lopsided, you can always cut some, some off. So that's that one. And then... Um, you get your clip and you're going to 
put one of the strings in here like so and you're gonna tie it so you'll clip it on like so won't you so let me just try this because I've never done it with a, with a clip before so if you go like that can you see that You're gonna want it like I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, so put that there, spread it out, put that there, and I'm going to get both of the pieces, I think, and put it through. Let's just cut it a little bit short. I still want to keep quite a bit of length, but so it's a little bit more manageable so if we went up that way like so then i'm going to bring it down yeah obviously that's why you have to put one string in isn't it Okay, I've just brought one string back out. So I'm going to tie that together. <coughs> yep, sorry. <laughs> I made you jump. Right. So. I think I'm going to tie that three times. Like so. Okay. Then make sure I've got my two strings together and I'm going to I think take one kind of down the middle I'm not sure about this part <laughs> not thought that far um like so so I've got both pieces because I'm thinking I, I do want to do I want to bunch them together or do I just want them? I don't think I want to bunch them together. Do you know what I mean? How they do that ball thing. I don't think I want to do that, to be quite honest. I think I just like it like this. But if you was doing that, you would kind of... I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm not doing it, because I don't know, but... I think you would tuck one of those strings kind of under and then you would do that and then tie it tie it off but I actually like mine uh, like that I think it looks more natural um, and obviously because I do more botanical things I think that makes sense uh, for me but I am going to leave those strings on so we shall see so if this was the journal that I was using it on, yeah, we do do need to trim it. But um, I don't know. I think they have them longer than the books as well, don't they? Because they look, yeah, yeah. I think that looks nice. That's um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Shall we do the other one? Yeah, let's. So I think I think that's on secure enough. So I'll just hang that up. Oh. I really don't need dropping it, do I? I'm getting it all twisted, twisted up. So again, we'll cut some of that down and we'll take one through that. I don't know, I still think I could do. Oh, I don't know. And then let's tie it a couple of times, like so. And then, like I say, I'm going to leave that, that dangling. Could always add some more um, beads onto onto that one, actually. Let's have a look what this one looks like. I should imagine the same ish. Yeah, I love them. So that was that was that. Um, I've got a couple more um of these kind of 
project so i will be back tomorrow with with another one so i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna say i'm not you know the greatest at all in things like that i find them very very fiddly um so yeah and i've obviously not got that much experience with them i've only done them a couple of times but let me tell you if i can do an okay job you know you can definitely and i know a lot of you have got a lot more experience with beads and and things like like that i think for me it's more you know that that reminds me of daisies it reminds me of spring um so it, it's done its job uh kind of thing um it doesn't have to be the fanciest um thing and um yeah they definitely thick enough uh for me because again i don't you know i don't like uh big big chunky things so i hope you've enjoyed it i've enjoyed it i'm gonna say a few times it's uh <laughs> made me sweat but um yeah um i've, I've enjoyed it and it has used uh, quite a bit of my uh, bits and bits and bobs, so I'm just going to transfer everything back over to to here because I thought I'll keep these all together while I'm doing uh, the Daisy Journal because they're those kind of uh, colours, aren't they? So I need to think about the next uh, project. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to put two videos out this weekend. Might just put one out uh, Saturday and Sunday, um, and then uh, when Monday comes, we'll be back to um, normal. You know, new challenge, new month, and and all the rest of it. So I think this weekend I'll just do do one one video, and then it'll give you a chance to if you need to catch up on any of the videos and stuff it'll give you give you a breather from me won't it <laughs> give you a bit of a bit of a break and you know i didn't use any on the rolls which is nice because um not that i don't want to use them i obviously do because that's why i've bought them but um i'd much prefer to get um other things used used up so i'm going to put these needles over there um, I shall see you. See you tomorrow. Thanks a lot for joining me. Bye.